morning guys we'll uh, start the 986 and let it warm up while i do cows and i'll get ready and get shred stalks at that farm we finished shelling corn on last night check the oil this dipstick can be hard to do one-handed This tractor, I think the batteries are getting weak in it, but it's always a really good starter when it's cold. We plow snow with it some and usually never have to worry about plugging it in. Go down and check. Go on, hook the grinder off the 656 and put it on the bale forks because we got to put hay down in the barn. And we set some big square bales down one high where we can use the three point bale spear to feed them so we don't have to haul the skid loader back so much. It works out pretty good. I'm glad I got that tractor fixed. It's handy to have back around. So we just had kind of a funny moment. The other night when I got done back in the woods with my four-wheeler, I pulled it right up behind the grinder and parked it. It was in neutral. He's backing up and it started pushing it out. And when it slid it sideways is when he realized he was backed into it. And they didn't do anything to anything. That bale spear is a New Holland 80 bale mover that was given to me. It was in the weeds at a farm that I was helping them clean up when they were having their sale. And I told them I could probably take it if they didn't want much for it and they just gave it to me. So I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for at the time, but it's come in pretty handy several times. Now we got cows at two different places. When I had skid loader here the other day, I set bales down because I don't want to grab a stack of four and risk them falling on the tractor and hurting somebody. Yeah, he'll kind of maneuver it up in there and then we can use the front tire on the tractor to push it the way we need to. Brown bales will be kind of handier. We can unroll them in front of the feed gates. Oh, we got cows taken care of, so I'm going to take off and go start mowing stalks and get that done. Hopefully before lunch, and then I don't know that we'll do much after that today. It's going to be another slow day. That's kind of how it is in the fall. It seems like it's a lot of hurry up and then wait. Faster tractors on the road, it'll go like 23 mile an hour since we put the bigger rear tires on it.
could probably do some of it with the 10 foot, but a bat wing is nice because you'd be able to reach down the bench bones. Well, I got one pass left, so I need to call my brother and tell him to head this way to pick me up. Just want to leave this sit here with the combine and green tart. Trucks waiting to get loaded or something. Somebody can hop in and go while we're shelling, or even when we're done, somebody can start. Well, we just got done here. I'm waiting on DJ to come pick me up. I think that'll be about all for today's video. Probably gonna be a pretty short one. We're pretty much out of things to do until we can get some, get a grain cart and the truck unloaded. Now, until tomorrow, Monday's video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.